Hi, back again. I got uh, three of these unpainted uh, heavy white baggage cars from Concours uh, two or three years ago, and I need to paint them. And we've finally had an end to the rain, so I'll, I'll be able to do it this afternoon. Uh, you may notice that's a it's a wire coat hanger. I use those to uh, uh, as a holder while I, while I paint. And also, I had to mask off the uh, the roof because uh, it's clear, and I didn't want to, you know, blacken up the windows, so to speak. And uh, after I'm done, I'll show you what they look like. Be back Here's, soon. Here's uh, one of them painted uh, on the exterior, blowing around in the wind while it's drying. Uh, there's two more over here. Maybe a little dark. Uh, and then here are the three, the three roofs right there. And I used a leftover can of uh, Scale Coat Pullman Green that I had. Um, and I do have an airbrush, but I haven't gotten around to using it. This Scale Coat 2 Pullman Green, I bought a bunch of it. You, back when it was still available. Well, I still like it. So. Anyway, that's kind of where they are. Next time, I'll show you what they are assembled. Hi, I'm back. I let the uh, three cars that I had been painting the other day uh, dry for a day or so, and uh, just put them back together so they're ready for decals, which would be the next step. Um, I used uh, Pullman Green on the sides and on the inside, uh, just to darken the inside. Uh, mask the uh, glass that comes with the top. I think I showed that to you. And then the tops were painted uh, with a flat black. And uh, in the background, you can see this engine here is a uh, the insides of a Concours S2, which actually looks closer to uh, a 484 Santa Fe version with this tender, uh, which I've already stripped the decals off, for the 2900 class. Uh, I'm waiting for, this is a Bachman shell, the front of the uh, engine here coming from a uh, parts order I just made, and I will apply it to the front of this uh, S2 engine, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I still got a 3D modeler kind of working in the background, seeing if he if he can do it at a reasonable price. Uh, a shell, a complete shell for a Santa Fe, uh, probably a 3751 class. But uh, uh, this one, uh, of course, has the uh, board. It actually had an NCE decoder in it, and I and I've test fit the. Uh, and it's hard to see in here, but this is a uh, Digitrax S. SDN 136PS and it'll fit inside that one pretty easily. Uh, not as good a sound probably with this speaker. Uh, this is the stock speaker, but uh, I'm just trying to get one that, that works. So, but anyway, um, I've kind of given up on my original engine, uh, which was the marriage of the Bachman and the uh, Concorde uh, Ford Ford GS4. Uh, that, that just engine just doesn't run very well. This one runs pretty decently, and uh, we'll see how this one goes. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back when these cars are uh, decal. Just a quickie update on the uh, the three heavyweight uh, baggage mail express cars I've been working on. These were the ones I uh, had painted uh, the other day, and they've been completely decaled. So uh, here's here's one. Uh, numbered 1823. There's another one, 1822. And then there's one that is 1828. And uh, let the paint dry for a couple of days, let it make sure it's nice and hard, and then uh, did the decals. So, uh, one of the problems with N scale is you gotta, if you want exact numbers to be in the correct, you know, number series. Uh, I had to cut a bunch of uh, 18s and 22s out of a bunch of different uh, uh, sheets.
plus uh, the, find the 23 and the 28. So, because the decal set only comes with 1829 and the full set of uh, Santa Fe heavyweights is between 18. Uh, 20 and 1829 in, in numerical order. So anyway, um, that's them finished. And uh, I'll be off to the uh, train show in uh, San Antonio tomorrow. So if anybody's there, stop in.